Hello guys, my name is Amaka and you're welcome to the Zama Stitches. In this tutorial, we are going to be learning how to make this beautiful sleeve you're seeing on the thumbnail. Now, this sleeve was inspired by Vicky James. Now, this is one of the outfits she wore on her traditional marriage. And that's what we are going to be making today. Now, this, this is a basic sleeve. I have a tutorial on how to draft a basic sleeve in case you don't know how to draft a basic sleeve. I'm going to leave the link of that video in the description box below so that you can check it out later. Now, if you've not subscribed to this channel, please click on the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. So let's get started. So now, I've brought another paper. Now I'm going to fold this pattern paper just like this. Like you want to make a... You no, know, just like a triangle. Now the paper is like this, and I'm folding it like this. Now, take note. This is my basic sleeve. Now, this is the elbow length of my basic sleeve. But this is the part of my paper that is on fold, and this is the part of my sleeve that is also going to be on fold when you place it on your fabric. Now, here. Now, this is my elbow line. Now, from my elbow line, I'm going to come down by 3 inches. From here, I'm going to come down by 3 inches. And I'll connect the points. Now I'm going to place my paper this way. So I'm going to pin it down. So I'll cut it. Now I'm going to cut it. So now the next thing I'm going to do is to transfer this to my fabric. Now this is a fabric I'm going to use for this sleeve. Now this fabric is one and a half yards of fabric. So now the same way I folded my paper on bias, that is how I'm going to fold this fabric on bias. Now I'm going to fold it this way. I'll fold it on bias. Now this is my fabric, I'm folding it on bias, just like this. Now this is the part that I don't fold. This is the part that I don't fold. And I'm going to place my paper on it and trace it out. Now, this part of the paper that is on fold, I'm placing it on this part that is on fold. Now, here I have my seam allowance here already, but I'm going to add seam allowance here. I'm going to add half inch seam allowance here, here to here. So, let me pin it down. I'm cutting it. So I have half inch seam allowance here already. So I'm going to sew here and I'll sew here with half inch seam allowance. So I'm going to do it and show you the outcome. Now, after sewing, this is what I have. This is what I have after sewing. Now I've sewn and I've also notched. I've notched, after sewing, notch. Now I've also ironed this. I just turned it to show you. I've also ironed it. So this is it. I've ironed it down. So now this is how I'm going to, this is how to do the, so this is what I'm going to do. This is how I'm going to do it.
So you just keep arranging it. Just keep doing this. This is how to make your rows. So you just keep arranging it like this until you achieve your so after arranging it the way I want I'm going to I'm going to secure it with my pins So after securing with my pins, now this is what I have. Now I have my basic sleeve here. I've used my basic sleeve to cut out a fresh sleeve. So I've used my basic sleeve to cut out a fresh sleeve. So now this, this sleeve that I cut is going to serve as the lining. Now this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to place it on this, just like this. Now the midpoint, this midpoint is going to be facing the midpoint of this. It's going to be on the midpoint of my sleeve. Now this is the midpoint of my sleeve. Now I'm going to hold this point and I'll pin it together. I'll join it together. So now after joining it together, I'm going to tack. Now this is my needle and thread. I'm going to use my needle and thread to tack. Now this time I'm going to tack. I'm going to hold this. I'm going to hold this rose and I'll hold the lining. So I'm tacking the lining and the rose together. Now, see where I'm tacking now. I'm tacking here, 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 here. I'm tacking inside. I'm not tacking here. I'm just tacking inside. Now I'm going to remove these pins. So I'm going to use my pin to secure this part.
Now take note. When I take this to my sewing machine, I'm going to turn, I'm going to sew this. This is how I'm going to sew it. I'm going to turn this right side fitting right side. I'm going to sew it right side fitting right side. Just like this. I'm going to sew this part. Which ring you see they tell you where they like this? Let me illustrate with pins. So when I take it to my sewing machine, I'm going to, this is how I'm going to hem it. I have half inch seam allowance here. So I'm going to use half inch seam allowance to hem it. So this is how, what I'm going to have when I take it to my sewing machine. This is how I'm going to hem it. So now I've secured it. I've secured it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use my sewing machine to sew here, to join here together, join here, secure this part. I'll hem here. So I'll do it and show you the outcome. So that's just it with this tutorial. Now I've secured this part. I've secured this part. I've also hemmed this part. You see that the seam allowance is inside. I hemmed it with half inch seam allowance. So now this is my sleeve. This is my rose sleeve. So if you found this tutorial helpful, please click on the like button. Share this video with your friends. Share this video in your sewing groups. Subscribe to my channel if you've not done so. Feel free to ask questions. I'll be in the comment section to answer all your questions. We've come to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.